fucked up like this, okay? If you don't do these things correctly, they're just gonna circle out every time. I want at least two seconds of control of his arm when I shoot this triangle. So think about it like this, okay? I have this grip, I put it on my chest, my toe brought his posture to me, all right? I'm gonna go from this grip to this grip, right in the back of his elbow, grab the elbow, okay? Like I'm gonna try to wrist lock him here, all right? Because <laughs> his wrist is on my chest, it's stuck. You can start to try to like put pressure on the wrist, but what I want is he's gonna circle his arm out, right? And I wanna see how long that takes for him to regain uh, his center position where I don't have the triangle. Because right now I still have the triangle. Okay, so bring your arm back to where it would be the center. So get your arm like back over here to safety. Okay, think about how long that took and how much time you had and if you could have added more pressure or more control to make that time a little bit longer. All right, so we hook, we bring his hand to our chest. As soon as we have his hand on our chest, we grab here, okay? As he circles out, look, even this is blocking, right? My elbow and everything, here. Right back to the same place that we went before, all right? To get into our triangle control, and then across. So that's all we're looking for is giving uh, the opportunity to have a little bit of time where we're gonna get right to that triangle position, all right? So we go over, strip, pull the hand to us, connect, toe on the back, and then we suck the arm down. It's almost like I want to, this is pulling, this is pulling, and then I'm trying to like push his wrist into me so it's tight when he circles it. All right, so he circles out, right here. All right, now we're right in the same position so that we can do our triangles. All right, and that's how I kind of do my open guard setups for Spider-Man.